Hello, welcome to ignani.com. Beginning Microsoft SQL Server 2012. Chapter 2 SQL Server 2012 Tools. Part 1 Introducing SQL Server Management Studio 2012. In our previous chapter, we looked at installing SQL Server 2012. Now that we have done installing, let us start to explore it. What is SQL Server Management Studio? In simple terms, we can say that it's a very user-friendly, graphical user interface, providing a variety of functionalities for accessing, configuring, managing, administering and developing all components of SQL Server. It plays an important role, by making your life easy while using SQL Server. If you remember the installation process, every SQL Server feature that was installed, runs as a separate Windows process. If you open the Task Manager and look at the processes, you can see SQL Server.exe, which is nothing but SQL Server service. It runs in its own process space and is isolated from other processes on the machine. Since SQL Server runs as a service, it has no interface, and this is where SQL Server Management Studio comes into picture. It acts as the graphical user interface, through which users can interact with SQL Server, to pass commands and functions, from a user through to the SQL Server service, which then passes them through to the underlying database. A single instance of SQL Server Management Studio can be used to develop and work with multiple instances of SQL Server, which can be on the same or on many systems connected through LAN, VAN or even the Internet. Features of SQL Server Management Studio SQL Server Management Studio provides tools to perform most of the administrative tasks for SQL Server. It provides a single, integrated environment for SQL Server database engine management, and authoring. It provides dialogues for management of objects in SQL Server Database Engine, Analysis Services, and Reporting Services, for executing your actions immediately, or to send them to a code editor, or scripting the actions for using them later. Allows you to import and export SQL Server registrations between different management studio environments. Provides options to save or print, XML show plan or deadlock files generated by SQL Server Profiler. It also allows you to save them for reviewing later, or send them to administrators for further analysis. A new error and informational message box that presents much more than information, by allowing you to send Microsoft a comment about the messages, copy messages to the clipboard, and to easily email the messages to your support team. Provides an inbuilt browser for quickly accessing MSDN or online help. A new activity monitor with filtering and automatic refresh. Integrated database mail interfaces allows you to initiate, and manage the database mail service. The code editor component of SQL Server Management Studio, contains integrated script editors for writing transact SQL, MDX, DMX, and XML, A. The Object Explorer component is an integrated tool for viewing and managing objects in all server types. SQL Server Management Studio supports extensibility through add-ins and plugins. Now that you know what is SQL Server Management Studio, let me take you on a short tour and get you introduced to various elements. Remember, this is just an introduction, don't worry about the details. Notice the SQL Server Management Studio loaded on the screen, with a dialog box to connect to the server. To start it, if you are using Windows 8, then search for SQL Server Management Studio and click on it. If you are using Windows 7, or any earlier versions, select Start, All Programs, Microsoft SQL Server 2012, and SQL Server Management Studio. Before we can proceed, we will have to connect to a server. Connect to server dialog box is one of the options to connect to a server. There are other options which you will get to see later on. Notice that I have chosen to use Windows authentication mode, and it's using the credentials that I have used to log in. Click connect, dialog box disappears. 
and we'll show the server details in the object explorer. If you have used Visual Studio any time earlier, then this might seem similar to you. You can see the SQL Server instance that I am connected to, its version and the credentials with which I am connected to it. Like any other Windows application, you can see the menu, the Windows title, and the buttons to minimize, maximize and close the window. You also have the standard toolbar. By default, as you can see, Object Explorer appears on the left side of SQL Server Management Studio. If it's not visible in your environment, you can see it by selecting View, Object Explorer from the menu, or press F8 shortcut key. Object Explorer displays a tree of all the database objects in a server that you are connected to. This can include the databases of the SQL Server database engine, analysis services, reporting services and integration services. It includes information related to all the servers to which it is connected. For every connected server, it also provides various other nodes, for managing SQL Server instance, database, security, server objects, replication, management, integration services catalogs, and SQL Server agent. Complementing the Object Explorer, is the Object Explorer details page, which shows report for each object selected in Object Explorer. Reporting services creates this report, and it opens in the document window. On the view menu click Object Explorer details, or press F7 to display the Object Explorer Details page. This is what an Object Explorer Details page looks like. It is now showing the details of the server that I have selected in the Object Explorer. It has two panes. The List pane or the Top pane, displays a list of objects in the selected node in the Object Explorer. The Details pane displays the information most likely to be of interest for each type of object. Notice that I have selected a table, and the list of columns available in the table are displayed in the list pane. When I select a column in the list pane, the details pane displays the column details. Let me now introduce you to the Utility Explorer, which provides a central point for monitoring unrelated servers. It is very useful for administrators, who monitor several servers within the organization spread over various locations. It allows the administrators to check the server's performance. Registered Servers Explorer is the next component that I will introduce you to. You can open it by selecting Registered Servers under the View menu, or by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus G. It lists servers which you manage frequently. You can add and remove servers from this list. You can use the Registered Servers to directly connect to any server, the by avoiding the user to enter all the details to connect to a server every time they connect, to connect to a server, all that is required is to double click on the registered server from the list, the toolbar on top of the registered servers explorer, allows you to quickly switch between different server types, database engine, analysis services, reporting services and integration services, also an alternative approach to this is to use view registered server types from the menu. I will continue with the introduction in the next video. Check out SQL Server 2012 Tools, Video 3. You can find, a lot of free video tutorials, training materials, how to videos, and much much more at our site www.ignani.com. Post all your questions at our site. We will be happy to help you. We want your learning process to be as interactive as possible. Feel free to contact us.